So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for the DAX Fridays and your DAX function every Friday. And in today's DAX Fridays, we're going to fix the Netflix, one of the issues of the Netflix algorithm using some good old DAX. How about that? Let me explain everything in just a second. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so here's the thing. I have Netflix like millions of other people. Um, one of the things that annoys me is that it keeps on suggesting me movies, documentaries, series that I've already watched. And for me, it's unbelievable that it does that. Like, I've already watched it. Why are you putting in suggested? And it can appear multiple times on different suggested categories. So we're going to fix that. Is it happening to you, by the way? I find it completely annoying, but we're going to fix that. So here's the thing. We have a business problem. In this case, Netflix has a business problem. <laughs> that is, we're suggesting movies that the user has already watched. We need to translate that into technical requirement. So what would it be? What I'm thinking in my head is that Netflix has a catalog of movies, documentaries, series. The algorithm goes through my activity and through that and says, OK, if you watch these, you probably want to watch that. And th what that thing should do is it goes through the creates a suggested list and then the suggested list should go again through the activity filter, right? And said, okay, I'm suggesting something that this person has already watched, so let's get rid of that. So let me show you what I've prepared for you. <laughs> I've actually done the list a little bit smaller so we can actually see. So we're going to have two tables. We're going to have suggested tables, which is the list that the algorithm decided that it would be good for me or that I would probably enjoy it. And then we have the list of movies that I've already watched. And what we need to do is to create a, a new list that is this one minus that one. So movies that I've seen will not get suggested to me. How do we do that? Well, I have a ton of videos on join and merges. You can actually do this in Power Query like super quickly, but joins, merges, not very performant in Power Query. So this is probably a better thing to do in DAX. And the thing is that which, you know, in Power Query, you just go and merge and then lay left outer, right outer, full outer, whatever, and then you choose the merge type and you do it. In DAX, you need to know which function to use, like always. So I normally take use of my mouse mat because I have all the joins here, Power Query, and the equivalent in DAX. So four rows in A suggested, not matching from B, you <laughs> see it here. We have except. Yay! So except is the thing that we need to use. So we are going to create a virtual table and then we're going to do some counting on that. Let me show you. So the virtual table, new table, I always, every time I work with virtual tables, I create them in Power BI so I can see what's going on. Because, let me show you. So I put accept and then I put watch, uh, sorry, values, watch no naked columns, and then I put values um, suggested. And look at that. It's giving me an empty table. Why is that? Because it takes the rows from table one that are not matching table two. And if we put the watched, my watch list first, all those elements are already in the suggested. So it, it will return a blank. But if we turn around these, and I wanted to do this just to, accept, to, to show you that the order actually accept the, uh, affects the results. So I'm going to put it there. So I'm just going to turn the order. So I want to have from the suggested, the list of suggested movies, find the ones that are not in the watched list. And this is when we get a list that does not contain movies that I've already watched. Beautiful. Now, you could use this table, but, you know, putting, creating additional tables, it just adds RAM to the memory. And we, we just want that for one calculation. So we don't actually need this table. What we're going to do is we grab the virtual table 
and we're going to go to the table, create a new measure. We're going to suggested improved, <laughs> improved suggested algorithm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to count what in what table we're going to count. We're going to count in the in this table, middle table, virtual table that we created that returns only the movies that they are suggested that I have not watched. And just count them. Nothing fancy, just count them. I'll show you in a second. So now I am going to put my suggested um, movies. This is the one that the algorithm found before it checked if I watched them or not. And then you put in this improve suggested, you see, and then all the movies I've seen go away. And then you can, if you just want to see the suggested movies, you can just go here and say, is not blank, apply filter. Then you can go to the visualization, you can just get rid of the measure and you now have a list of the movies that should have actually been suggested to me. And this table, you don't need it. You only need it to see if the table that you think you're created is actually the thing that you're created, you know, to verify that your DAX is actually doing what you expect it to do. And now you have, that's the list that you should suggest me. So fingers crossed that they actually fix the algorithm. It drives me absolutely nuts. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again on a Monday with a Power BI video. I'm actually going to see you on Tuesday because I'm going to change the schedule, but I'll tell you on Monday. Let's, it's, it's Friday. Let's not think about that today. Anyhow, have a great weekend. It is sunny with snow in here. So yeah, we'll see what we do this weekend. Take care. Bye.